Happy New Year! Woo! 2022! Happy New Year! Woo! I want to say Happy New Year to everyone out there. This is Dr. NT. Today's video will be how to install Netflix on your machine. This is new for 2022, so there's some new procedures. While we're waiting for iFit to come up, make sure you click on the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, go ahead and subscribe. This way you'll always be notified whenever I post new content. New for 2022, you can also become a member of this YouTube channel. As a member, you get exclusive access to members only videos. You can tell I have privilege mode. So there's going to be two ways to install Netflix. The first way is if you're a member. If you're a member, you probably have easy access to privilege mode. So it's really simple. You just go into privilege mode, you install Netflix, and that's that. I'll be going through those steps. If you're not a member and you don't have easy access to privilege mode, then you might want to fast forward, look in the description. There should be a table of contents and I'll have an actual second part for those of you that are not members. It's a little bit more complicated. So if you have easy access to privilege mode, Netflix is a really quick install. So the first thing you want to do is to determine what version of Android your machine is currently running. To do that, you want to hit the hamburger menu. That's the three lines up there. You want to hit settings. From settings, you want to hit equipment info. Then you want to hit App Info. And that's your Android version, the firmware version. This right here, it's 5.1.1. That is your Android version. So remember, whatever your Android version is, that version will come into play once you download Netflix. We'll go back to the main menu. We'll come up to Privilege Mode. So from the web browser, you'll type Netflix. Go right to Netflix. And then you'll want to sign in. And then once you sign in, you go here to your username, and then you'll go to the Help Center. From the Help Center, up here, you'll type in APK. And the very first thing that you see, the very first, it'll say read article. Go ahead and read article. And then if you scroll, you'll see right there, download the Netflix app. Let's go ahead and do that. You'll see it says starting download. You can get out of here. And then go straight to downloads. And there you have it, the Netflix APK. Go ahead and click on it. It'll say, do you want to install this application? Click on the install button and it'll say installing. Now, if it comes up and says, hey, do you want to enable unknown sources? Then you say yes. But unknown sources should be set to enabled by default. We'll let this run. It says app installed. We'll say done. And there you have it, Netflix. Let's go ahead and give it a try. It says to sign in. And there you have it. You have Netflix on your beautiful display. Now, how do you exercise and watch Netflix? Very simple. Hit the square, get rid of all these windows you don't need, go back to iFit. From iFit, you want to start a manual, you want to do a manual start and the warm up and you're walking. I'm only walking at one mile per hour to so show you that the belt is moving. You want to hit the square and then go back to Netflix and I don't know what this is. We can start Dota Dragon's Blood while I'm walking. Netflix is starting. And it will buffer until 
uh, it gets a good signal. And as you can tell, we still have iFit in the background. It's keeping track of all of your stats, your time elapsed, and you have Netflix playing right here. All right, let's go ahead and get out of Netflix. And then when we're done with Netflix, you can actually just hit the square right there and then just drag Netflix out of the way, come back to your iFit workout, and there you go. When you wanna stop your iFit workout, you hit pause and then you hit stop. That was pretty simple, wasn't it? Let's go ahead and finish that. Those of you that have newer Android versions, once again, you wanna check your Android version, and how do you do that? You go to the hamburger menu, the three lines up here, you go to settings, from settings, you want to hit equipment info. Now, if for some reason, when you try to run Netflix and it says it does not support your device, then you'll have to install a newer version of Netflix. Let me go ahead and show you how to do that. Once again, privilege mode. Go into a browser. This time, we'll be searching for APK Pure. APK Pure. What is APK Pure? APK Pure is a website that's similar to Google Play. Since we don't have a Google Play on our device, we go to APK Pure. There are other sites like APK Mirror, but APK Pure will work for now. APK Pure will work for what we need. Hit the magnifying glass and you'll search for Netflix. And the very first result will be Netflix and before you hit download you want to scroll and you want to read what version so this says it's good for Android 7 and above so if you have Android 7 and above you can download this so we'll come back up to the top And we'll go ahead and click download. Once again, it'll say starting download. You can scroll up, hit the circle. Let's go ahead and hit the downloads button. And it's actually in progress. It says 21%. As soon as this is done, then you would install this exactly the same way I installed that. It's very simple. You'll have a newer version of Netflix, so it might look a little different. But once again, if you have an older version, like an Android 5.1.1, you'll be downloading this Netflix version from the actual Netflix website. And if you have a newer version of Android 7 or higher, you'll be downloading this version from a website like APK Pure. You can go to APK Mirror, and it's done. And then you would install it exactly the same way. I'm not going to install it because it won't work on my older machine. But now you have it. As a member, it's really simple. You have Netflix, and it was a very simple install. All right, let's go back to iFit. For those of you that don't have easy access to privilege mode, let's say you have the iFit websites blocked, and you have an older version of iFit running, and you don't have access to privilege mode, then what you probably have is another application or two that will mimic privilege mode. You probably have floating apps or taskbar. If you haven't heard of floating apps or taskbar, look up there. I'll have a link on how to install floating apps and taskbar.